Hello Billy, Mark Trenches here. So I've got a couple of updates on um, both communals really. Um, so yeah, it's all about the nails at the moment. So as you know, I've just had three mature males molt out, or well, three males molt out into maturity on what M. Balfouri communal. I'm thinking there's one female in there. I'm hoping there's one female in there. But I will be uh, keeping all three males because at the BTS in May I will be purchasing an adult female, hoping, and uh, adding her to the communal. So this male right here is actually in the middle, is in the middle of um, making the sperm web. I've not actually um, witnessed them doing this yet, so it's quite a, always interesting to watch uh, a male. I'm going to trench for doing this. So yeah, this is a nice bit of footage here. So at the moment he's just making his uh, the bed, and he'll uh, deposit the sperm, and uh, yeah, he'll uh, literally pick it up with his penny pulse. There's the other male there. I think I should uh, usher him back in. Oh, give me a bit of attitude there. You can't come out, mate. Generally, M. Balfouris aren't really aggressive. They're more skittish than anything. Um, especially, well the males are more aggressive than the females I find once they're matured they um, don't hesitate to actually rear up but again they'd rather flee than fight so they just got a, one one of them casually making the sperm web in the corner and the other one giving me a bit of attitude While we're on the uh, subject of communals, um, my Pugletheria subfusca lowland com communal, um, I just had a male malt out, fresh mature male there. I'm actually quite pleased about that because um, I was hoping at least uh, there'd be a, one male in the Pugletheria communal. So yeah, um, I didn't need to sex the malt because obviously when he malted out he was uh, he was mature. But I did sex the malt anyway just so I could see for myself. Again, it's always even if you know the sex your tarantula, it's always good to sex the malt every, all the time. It's just so it gets you used to seeing male malts and female malts, especially if you know that your tarantula is a male. Take a look at his malt, study it. Um, so you get to know what a male malt looks like because obviously sometimes it can get confusing especially at a young age yeah so what you're doing there they generally do it at an angle or like what, what the uh, this one's doing here he's doing it on the floor and then up against the side of the tank I don't know if I've got the angle there uh, so generally what they do is deposit the sperm and then go underneath. Don't ask me why it looks like he's got a ball patch on his abdomen. It's an old world spider, they don't kick hairs. It looks like they've been kicking hairs though, doesn't it?
think it's fascinating the way. Where we go, this should be interesting. Never seen this before. When one male's making a sperm whip, another male comes along and. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> Just casually continuing what he's doing. And what's the other male been a day? It's quite unbelievable if you uh, if you have a an then bow for a communal and you have got a couple of males in there. It's quite amazing watching what the males do and how they interact with each other. Oh, it's all sorts of uh, different interactions between the interactions with the males. It's just uh, casually, just see what his mate's doing. And he's just going to wander off and do his own thing again. And it looks like that male has just picked up. An old leftover bit of locust. Which means... Is he hungry? Yeah, it's a find out shall we? So I don't really want to disturb the other male but let's just see if he's hungry then. Oh. Let's try again. Nah. Thing about mouths, once they mature, it's um, I mean, just there we witness him scrounging. Now, that's a little piece of a um, an old locust that has obviously been taken out of a hide because it wasn't there before. But what I do, I leave the, the cricket in there. Okay, maybe he was hungry. Amazing. Really are amazing spiders. There we go. Now he's going off to do his own little thing now. They are fresh new males, so um, they will continue to eat. Which I'm happy about because um, I've not got long now for the BTS. So I really do hope I'll get a mature female. But yeah. So we see uh, one male make a sperm web. We're in the middle of making, in the process of making a sperm web, and we've uh, another male has just taken down a cricket. Perfect.
Yes, yeah, so the next update is a not so good one. Um, bit of a shock really, my green thing has died. So yeah, the one that I found um, a couple of weeks back in my garden has uh, passed away all of a sudden. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's passed away. Oh, I'll say when I did find it, it was scrunched up in the uh, patio in the corner. It actually did look dead. But, um, yeah, shame really. Because uh, these are very rare in my area. So, a bit gutted about that. I was hoping she'd uh, molt in my care. And I'll be searching for a mouth somewhere, but yeah. Yeah, so that's the uh, not so good update. Bit guy about that. Green Fang is dead. Sometimes when you're doing your videos and tease, things happen at the spare of the moment. And I've got um I've got Monica right here. She looks hungry. She will be uh Go straight back into a hide when I open up, but this time she hasn't. So I'm gonna try and feed her a fruit beetle grub and see if she's hungry. Here we go. Wow. She give me a fret pose. One of the tamest trenches around. Whoa. <laughs> she gonna grab that? I think she was gonna go for that then, but the uh, the grub fell to the ground. Not the easiest to feed some arboreals, these grubs. Let's see if I'll grab it again. See what I'm going to do. Change your diet for her. Here we go. Straight off the tongs there. Magnificent takedown for Monica. Wow, I did not expect that. She reared up with a fret pose, which I've never seen before from her. It's normally so tame. Yeah, massive fangs as well. Unbelievable. Absolutely stunning. She appears so slow. But yet, she's so quick. This is 
probably the best footage I've had of her so far. She's so stunning. Should have went for the prick, should have gave her the cricket in the first place. Just the the fruit bit rub was the uh, closest thing to me. Been a bit lazy there. I'd like say trying to trying to feed a beetle grub to an arboreal spider. It's probably not the best thing to do. But nevertheless, we've got a good takedown out of it. We've got a fret pose from an avicularia amazonica. Size of them fangs. Well there you go guys, that concludes this video. So a little one bow for update. Sad update on the green thing. Uh, like I say, I've got a mature mound mulched out in my Hopotheria communal. So when they all come out, I'll uh, be sure to video them. Um, yeah, and the, and the Monica feed. So like I say, that concludes the video. So remember to like, comment and subscribe. And not long now, also quickly, the BTS on the 20th of uh, May, on a Sunday. If you see me, come and say hi. It's always good to uh, have a chat to my subscribers and to meet who watches my videos. So thanks again guys. I'll see you again soon.